2000s. Dit is alles wat daar jy kan uitsien, Terrence, wiele twee wiele, maar tot dan toe. Hou daai wiele aan die rol. Radio East River, our station, our talent, and our people. Don't miss the Battle of the Great Gatsby's live at Middlestad Mall. Join us on Saturday, the 28th September from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. as we broadcast live from Middlestad Mall. Watch the five finalists battle it out to prove whose Gatsby is the best in town. There will be spot prizes up for grabs, plus a chance to sample the greatest Gatsby's in town. 
save the date and bring your friends and family for a day of food and fun. See you there. Yes, our station, our talent, our people. Tidang Raki. Good morning, good morning all our Facebook viewers and those who are watching us by TikTok. Uh, welcome to all of you and also those who are uh, listening to us on the Radio East River app, the app that you downloaded from the App Store. Uh, thank you for tuning in and watching us and listening to us here on the best uh, internet radio station in Cape Town, Radio East River. Uh, yes, it is our station, our talent, uh, for our people. Everything that we bring, everything that we do is for the people. And, uh, there is nothing that we do for ourselves. We are mere servants of the people to serve you on this radio station, this platform that God has provided for us. And, uh, this morning we, I am, I am indeed privileged. I am indeed privileged to have someone in the studio with me who shares the same, as the same name as myself. And, uh, yeah, Pastor Graham Collins is here with me this morning. I, I, it was for a long time that mm. I've been pestering him <laughs> to come on board. And yes, I have him here. And I am so glad to, to have him yeah. with me in the studio this morning. Uh, Graham, can you just, uh, greet the people and say hi to them? Good morning, guys. For me, it's indeed a, a privilege and an honor to be alongside with my namesake, uh, Dr. Graham Abertain, and we come a long way. Our, uh, our history of our family is dated way, 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 way back. So, uh, to me, it's an honor and a privilege to be here this morning and to be of service, and I trust that you will enjoy our time together. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Pastor Graham Collins. Uh, yes, it is indeed a privilege. And this morning, we're going to have a nice conversation mm-hmm. with the people. And uh, we're doing it under the topic of how alive is your spiritual heritage? Mm-hmm. We're ending our Heritage Month segment. This is the last Thursday of September, Heritage Month. And we're ending it uh, this morning with a, with a bang, I would call it, with yeah. a bang. And we're going to have a, a beautiful conversation. Absolutely. And, and uh, mm-hmm. this, this morning... Uh, Graham, the music that we're going to have, mm. uh, uh, is, 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 is deep. Yeah. I just want to say to the people, it's, it's going to be deep. It's going to take yeah. you way back, uh, way, way back. It's going to take you way, way yeah. back. When I look at the, uh, when I look at the history yeah. of the songs that, yeah. that I chose and the, between the two of us, yeah. uh, for this morning, uh, it dates back to the, to the early nine, a uh, late eighteenth century. Yes, maroon hymn book. The, the, there we go, yeah. the maroon hymn book. Yeah, yes, that one. is the one that we're going to have this morning on our program. And later on in our program, we're yes. going to talk a little bit about that heritage. Uh, and yes. and it seems to me that in 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 the modern day, yeah. we have lost. The value, yes. uh, but yeah, I, I I want to get into it, yeah. but not now. We're going to go on a music break now, um, and uh, we're going to have and this group you haven't heard of them for a long time. Yeah. Vine song, come on, you haven't heard for uh, uh, for a very long time. You haven't heard of them, and this mu- this uh, 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 song that they're going to sing to us. And, and we just want to give God yeah. glory this yes, morning amen. for where we are sitting. Amen. And they say, to God be the be glory. glory. Vine song, let's take a listen. Radio Yesterafir, ons stasi, ons talent. Ons mense, WhatsApp ons by 064-536-9095. Talk to us, die dang ruk hier.
miss the Battle of the Great Gatsby's live at Middlestad Mall. Join us on Saturday, the 28th September from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. as we broadcast live from Middlestad Mall. Watch the five finalists battle it out to prove whose Gatsby is the best in town. There will be spot prizes up for grabs, plus a chance to sample the greatest Gatsby's in town. Save the date and bring your friends and family for a day of food and fun. See you there. Yes, we are back live with you on Radio East River. I am Dr. Graham Overtain and you are watching and listening to On the Couch with Doc. And this morning we, I have my guest in the studio, Pastor Graham Collins, and we are talking how alive we're asking that question, how alive is your spiritual heritage? And uh, the first uh, song segment that we had was, To God be the glory, great things he has done. Um, Vine song sang that song for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, this morning we can just give God glory for the things that he has done. Mm -hmm. And this morning... I want you to sit back. Tell us where you are tuning in from. Um, Michael Domingo, uh, the regular, is watching. Thank you for tuning in, Michael. Uh, you are indeed a blessing. And also, I would ask uh, everyone that's tuning in, make comments, give us some feedback, uh, talk to us um, on the on the air, um, um, yeah, on Facebook, and so on. And we appreciate this. Now, Graham, as we're going to start off our segment, yeah. how our life is our spiritual heritage, um, I think of no better way to start it off but to start it off with Scripture. And when we look at um, Psalm 16, verse 6, mm. we, we spoke about it yes. in the week. Beautiful. Uh, the boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Mm. Surely... I have a delightful inheritance. Yo, yes. Maar as ons nou teruggaan na die ja. oudheid. Die meetsnoere. Die meetsnoere. Het voor jou op lieflijke plekke. Lieflijke plekke. My erfenis is mooi. Ai! <laughs> Volgend kan ons dit sê, onse erfenis ja, absoluut. is mooi. Ja. You know, w- uh, 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 when, when, when we, when every time we, we speak of heritage, ja. I, I am, I am just taken back to my roots, man. Yeah. And 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 this is what it's all about. Throughout this throughout this month, uh, 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 people made comments yeah. and said it's all about the roots. The roots. That's for sure. No matter what happens above the ground. Yeah. It's all about the roots. Yes. And and sometimes people tend. To forget. Yeah. Now, I want to ask you. I brought you on board because we come a long way and we know each other well. Yeah. And, and, and we know the foundational, uh, 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 uh truths that, uh, that, that, that was, that was, uh, uh, given to us. I, ek wil amper sê, met die bottle, het ons het ingekry. Yeah. Van Klemsa. Yes. You know, and, and so we, we're going to talk about, yeah. about that heritage. First and foremost, for, before I ask you the question, I, I, I need to make a statement and say, what is heritage? Just to, to yeah. reflect on what is heritage. Heritage is used here for those Christian elements. Listen to what it says. Yeah. For those Christian elements of our culture, yes. shared values, mm. laws and institutions, and I would also say people, mm. which we have inherited from our nation's past. Yeah. Our nation is is the people. Yes. Ek is ek kom van een nasie yes. af. You come from a Collins yeah. nation. So, yes, yeah. so that that is what you have inherited. Yes. How has your spiritual heritage shaped your personal beliefs and practices? That you practice today, how has that shaped you? That which comes from yes. afar. Yeah. Doc, thanks for this. And um, to all the viewers out there, um, 
We were raised as a family on 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 a, on a few components, right? And 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 the few components of those were, we were raised with 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 scripture, we were raised with faith, we were raised with prayer, and we were raised how to serve other people. Yes, but I want to emphasize the fact that we were raised by by prayer. Uh, if we if we go back to to to, to those days. They call it the Heis Altar. Yes, you know? yes. And my dad uh, would wake us up at five in the morning. Then we all need in uh, kneel in their room around the bed. All my siblings, all of us. Yeah. And it was not a matter of my dad praying alone. We each of us has a turn to pray. Yes, yes. And you know that boxy we call it the Quran calls. Yes, yes, yes. You had to take one and read it's out loud both sides, Afrikaans and English. This, that's the scripture. Yes. Yes. That was our foundation. That's, yeah, uh, I remember that. And yes, I can. I go as far if if it weren't for that components. Uh, trust me, I don't know where we would have been, because I believe that was our foundation. Yes, where my dad was a man of faith. Yes, because if we if he was also the late pastor Chris Collins, there wasn't much money. Yeah, we we stayed in a pastory for yes, yes. all my life. And there wasn't much money, so faith was an important comp- uh, component to us as a family. Yes, yes. And we had to live by faith. Yeah. If there was no food, my dad would pray. My dad would pray. God would provide. Every time my dad prayed, God would provide. We will live by by faith. But I need to emphasize the point. But we will also love. We also love by worship. Yes, I mean we, we. I come from a family that could sing. My my uh, my late two sisters, my brother, my uncles, uh, they are musicians. My, my yeah. yes, uh, yes, my my nephews, they can sing. Yeah, and we had a culture of worshiping. You remember Sunday mornings? Yes, before yes. Before church, before church, yes. Jimmy Swaggart. There we go. Come on, Th- there we go. That was Jimmy Swaggart before church every Sunday morning. Yeah, no television. You were quiet. We, that is how we wake up. Every Sunday morning, yes. the sound of Jimmy Swagger. Yes, you know? yes. And then worship was an important component because we were raised to 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 when you with your back against the wall. Yeah, when you under the pump. Yes, when you feel life is getting to you. Yes, we had to worship. Yeah, we were singing, and there was no food, but we kept on singing. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, I must add, lastly, we were also raised by how to serve other people. Yes, I think that was an uh, important component in any leadership. Yes, you know, absolutely. If you, if you cannot serve, you cannot lead. You cannot lead. And my dad understood this, and that was nailed into us that yeah. we need to. You will get up and give your seat. You will pack chairs, right? You yeah. Will, if you want to be a leader, if you want to be a pastor, you must. You first need to learn how, how to, to serve. serve. And if Absolutely. Cannot, and if you cannot serve, that is how I was. That is our how I was raised. Yes. And that was my foundation. Yes. Yes. That is where I that I built my life in today. Yeah. I still, I still believe in those components. Absolutely. And so, yeah. And those those are the components that carried us. That's, I can that's, that's uh, just like you. I can remember. I, yeah. I mean, I was five six years old yeah. when I uh, uh, when I went to school. Yeah. It was not. I didn't go to school in the morning. Yeah. I went to school at twelve at midday. Yeah. So in the that morning segment uh, in my grandmother's house uh, at eleven o'clock, stat before yeah. I go to school, yeah. we went to the room. Yeah. We went to pray. Yeah. I would kneel next to her. I would hear how she mentioned each and every one of her children's yes. names, my name, yes. etc. And I yes. would pray there with her in my own uh, yes. uh, 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 little voice. Yeah. I would pray. But those are the things that, that kept us. Yes, like ma'am. my grandfather was, was, was a, the, the pastor. And I mean... Service was great, big, big for him. Yes. He would go to the church uh, grounds and pick up all the papers. Yeah. He would clean it up. He yeah. would ensure that the church ground is neat and yes. and, and tidy. Uh, I, I mean that that kept me or, or was instilled in yes. me yes. when I had my first congregation in Plumov. Yeah. That is what I did. Yes. I cleaned up the yard. Yes. I cut the grass. I didn't have a, a, yeah. a, 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 a lawn mower. Yeah. I cut the grass with a sheep shear. Yeah. I mean, remember the pastors back in the day? Yes. They were they were the taxi. Yeah. 
They were the ambulance. Yes. They were the caretaker of the church. Exactly. They did everything. They did everything. And I can recall in the early, in the late 70s, um, 79, when my dad got this call to AFM at Rusfontein. Yes. When he was called there to, to, be, to be the pastor at the assembly. But there was a conference in December prior to that year, 79. Yeah. There was a conference in, 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 in Sarepta. I mean, we all know that. Yes, all the yes, it, yes. The caravans. There we go. The there, demons, the fed cooker. Yeah, the, the tents. All the stuff, yes. That was, that's a topic for another day. <laughs> However, I need, to, I need to say this to you. So then my dad was, 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 was the pastor at A.F. Malmesbury. Yes. That was in our fifth year, and then he got the call to Matrusfontein. Yes. But then, before he got the call, someone noticed him, and I'm not sure if I can mention that person's name, but I don't think you will mind. I, I think you remember Uncle Basi Blacknot. Yes, yes. He picked up the, in, in 79 September at the conference. So my dad, I think my dad was still the chairperson of the Buola, not the uh, South Peninsula. Back then, mom was before under the uh, South Peninsula. South Peninsula, yes. My dad was sitting on the stage, you know, today there's no, there's nothing like that. Yeah. Then he noticed the, the tabernacle is getting packed, but there was chairs on the side hall. Yeah, yeah. And he looks like this, his glasses hang. I still remember how his glasses hang over his finger and he's, he was looking and see, but he would be running out of space. And there was no access. He got up from the stage. Yeah, yeah. He went to the side, go fetch the chairs. And he started packing the chairs and calling the people to come sit. Yes, yes. Pastor Basi Blachnot, he noticed that. Yeah. Based on that, he was called to AFM at Rusfontein. Sure. Why? Not because of his leadership. Because of service. Of service. <laughs> that is yeah. so fundamental. Yeah. Because our, our, our heritage, yes. our spiritual heritage, yes. and where we come from, yeah. the two of us, yeah. is, is, is laid in a foundation I would call it our four pillars yes. of, 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 of four things. Yeah. It is worship. Yes. It's prayer, prayer. It's service. And faith. And faith. Yes. Those are the four things that yeah. our heritage yes. is, is laid in. Yes. It's, it's concretized, I would yeah. say, yes. in that. Yeah. Um, and if you have that, you can withstand. Yes. And that is where, how we were formed. Yeah. Uh, 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 um, um, in in our in our upbringing, yes. Because um, um, what we what what was instilled in yes. us, yeah, absolute, was was biblical principles. Yes, you're right. Was public biblical principles, yeah. and I want to say to 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 uh, to people today that please look at your heritage and and see where you come from. We've been speaking about this um, uh, for the longest of time of this month, and uh, uh, um, w every time we speak on it, I, I, I read something uh, 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 this morning about what happened at the V&A waterfront uh, um, 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 on, on, on Heritage Day. But people forget that we have a spiritual heritage. Yes. Yes, it is, it is, it is good to know your ancestry and where you come from. And this is, this is all part of our heritage. But our ancestry, mm -hmm. our ancestors, even if we go back to, to, to last week's conversation and uh, where we spoke about the Khoisan, etc., mm -hmm. it was for me significant that um, um, many people say yes. Uh, there was there was missionaries that came from uh, uh, America. Missionaries came from uh, Europe and so on. They brought Christianity to yeah. to to um, to South Africa. But in essence, mm -hmm. the first nation of of South Africa, the Khoisan people, were religious people yeah. because they prayed. When they wake up in the morning, they pray. When they go sleep at night, they mm. pray. When they need to go and hunt, they pray. Mm. Uh, 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 when they when they come back and 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 with the kill, uh, uh, they 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 pray. And when they need to sit down to eat, they pray. Yeah. So in essence, whether there was a Bible, mm -hmm. whether there was a uh, a preacher, yeah. Inherently, yeah. Within them, there was spirituality. Yeah. You know, 
and that is the fundamentals that we need to bring back yeah. to our to to the now generation yes of course uh, yeah. and and that is why i asked the question yeah. as a topic yeah. how alive is your spiritual heritage yes and 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 we need to 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 note that the bible in essence yeah. is filled with you need to tell your children and yeah. and your children's children yeah 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 about what god has done yeah you know and uh, we need to we need to do that yeah. and and we, but we need to know the fundamentals uh, uh that is that that way we are built on and to now we're going to go on to a music break and bill and gloria gaither is going to sing and and we can just reminisce and say blessed assurance Come on. jesus is mine yes and we know that we have that blessed assurance yes. that our foundation is solid yes. we, our, our heritage is uh, uns erfenes yeah. is mooi and 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 because our our our, our heritage is is uh, uh, is delightful yeah. and beautiful we can continue because we have a firm foundation yes. let's listen to bill and gloria gaither that's going to sing to us blessed assurance Hierdie week vir wiele twee wiele was ek by nog 'n Chinese bekendstelling Jetour, die dashing in die XC70. Dan gaan Martinus Harting van die Burger ook vir ons nog 'n Chinese bekendstelling bywoon en dit is vir die GIC MQ. Maar dat was ook 'n motorwaarde wenk van Getwif en SWI was ook by die AAD skou. Vir twee wiele fokus ons hierdie keer op wie twin motorfietse van die laat 90s en 2000s. Dit is alles wat daar jy kan uitsien ter het wiele twee wiele. Wat tot dan toe. Hou daai wiele aan die rol.
Get ready, Cape Town. Let the games begin. There's more to life. Introduces your master race. Get your squad ready to win your share of five thousand rand. Race through the streets in an adrenaline pumping, clue finding adventure and climb the leaderboard. First ten teams to enter get a share of two hundred points. Score another two hundred points as the audience votes for the best dress squad on the twenty eighth of July at the Athlone Civic Centre. Don't Don't miss miss out. out. Enter now via www.tmtl.co.za. Yes, you are back live with us on Radio East River. I'm Dr. Graham Albertain, and you are still with us on the couch with Doc, with my guest, Pastor Graham Collins. Mm. And uh, earlier on, we 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 spoke about um, the heritage and what we need to convey yeah. to 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 our children. Mm. And um, I I went to look up and and and, and um, in my research, I said, let me let me see how spiritual heritage is being defined mm-hmm. and uh, uh, it 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 says the following a spiritual heritage is the faith journey yeah um the faith journey we are passing down to our children and that is why we mm. are here today mm. because that faith journey was passed down to us yeah and we need to ensure that we we pass it on it is communicated to our children that faith and a relationship with God is a value of our families. Yeah, absolutely. Passing on a spiritual heritage does not guarantee that your children will grow up and choose to follow Christ. Mm-hmm. Because God has given each person a free will. Yeah. But it does not deter us from passing it down mm-hmm. to them. Who say the the um I think the word say that he uh, uh, not the word not but the Roman Catholic say give me a kind for say seven years and I get him for the rest of his life. But then come the word and he say reach the kind following the eyes of his way. And he shall there not wander. And he shall there from there not avoid me. Even though in life they go on their separate ways, mm-hmm. choose their own paths yeah. through life. You and you and I have both two children, and and uh, it was not every day that they have chosen yes. the journey of faith. Yeah. But I have I have I have witnessed it. I have witnessed as you earlier said when your back is against the wall. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I want to bring in an incident uh, um, whereby uh, my daughter was 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 working at a certain place, and something happened, and they had to close the 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 place down. Mm-hmm. She called me and say, "I need to come now because something has happened." Mm-hmm. I thought it was it was something to do with her. Mm-hmm. I raced to the place. Now the place has where she was working has glass uh, uh, windows mm-hmm. right right yeah. in front, and so on. So I could see in what is happening. Mm-hmm. When I got to the place, I I I stood outside for a few seconds, observing my daughter doing spiritual warfare. Mm-hmm. And it is in those times that you that 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 it really grips your heart to yeah. say your faith journey yeah. that you have communicated to them. It filters down. It filters down. That's correct. Yeah. So now, Graham, I want to ask you: Who are the significant figures in your spiritual heritage, and how have they inspired and impacted your life? Um, Doc, I smile at this question. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Because I, first and foremost, we spoke about my my dad, and you ask who is the significant figures, and figures plural, which means. But I would love to mention um, that my dad, my dad, played a phenomenal role in my life. 
Yes. You know, I can I can say this. Besides besides theological training. Yes. You still have your school of hard knocks. Oh yes, oh yes, definitely. And I think the school of hard knocks is more vital than your theological training. Yes. Because it's at your school of hard knocks where you really learn the reality. Yeah. And yeah. my dad played a crucial role. Was it easy? It was never easy in this in this life. Ask anyone who know the late Pastor Chris Collins. He was yes. a hands-on man. Yeah, definitely. He was a, a leader uh, per excellence. Yeah. But to yeah. be under him was phenomenal. And he shaped me. He molded me, but it was never easy. And I would love to share a story. Yes, yes, please. I, I can remember it was 85 or 86. I was very, very young. And the youth committee asked me that one morning if I can preach. And I was very excited. And I prepared myself very, very well. Yeah, yeah. And I was, that morning, I was on fire. I still remember the verse, Nehemiah 9, verse 5. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I still remember the verse up to today. After church, I made the biggest mistake of my life. <laughs> After church. I went in there, I took off my clothes, and I came into the lounge, and I said to him, come on, Dad, you've got to be honest. No one on that church board can do what I did this morning in that church. Sure. Sure. I mean, 70 years old, dumb, stupid, and arrogant. Yeah. Yeah. As can be. Yes. My father looked at me. He sent me to my room. He said to me, what you know about preaching is scary. Yeah. You know? You know nothing. Yeah. Go study the Bible and come back to me. I went and then I was in tears, man. I said, but how can this man do yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the response. Yes, and yes. To typical, my mom mm -hmm. came in the room. I said, mom, but look, it was... My mom said, no. Your pa did what they do, you know? Uh, or uh, dear, daddy did what they do. Yeah, yeah. You know, later, he called me and explained to me one thing in life. He said to me, if he would have acknowledged me that morning... Yeah. ...in our lounge... Yes. He would have broken me, you know. Uh, but he had to brought me down yeah, yeah. and humble me. There, there we go. And then I, I, he taught me one lesson. If you want to make it out there in ministry, be humble. There we go. There we no go. No one is bigger than, than this. And, and he, was, he played a, a phenomenal role in my, in my life today. Can I, uh, can I say another one? Yes, 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 definitely, and then definitely. You ask figures. So yes, I had to, yes. I had to point, and then the late Pastor Donald Bester. Oh my. Yeah, we spoke about this. There was a conference that we had a leadership, uh, a West Coast meeting in Friedendown. Yes, yes. And, and, and the late Pastor Kali Wannenberg, I think he was, I, I, he had a slight heart attack at the back. Yes. And myself and Pastor Donald were there. We, 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 we noticed this. And there was, luckily that day, there was a, I think a nurse or a matron, she was there. Yes. And then she feel the pulse of Pastor Kali Wannabek and he said, but there is no, she said to him, but there's no pulse. There's no pulse, yeah. And I said, but I don't have no pulse. And I yes. I open, I put the ear line to bed and I say, yara, I arrest you, do it. <laughs> and I said, but we are full, we are to the full, she said, that's a pulse. Pastor, I felt that that day and I realized, my, oh my, I'm not saying we can't do it today. But I, I know that some pastors are scared to go to hospital because whenever you pray with someone, the next day the, the person, next day dies. person dies. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but but that's the figure. That were the guys that played a phenomenal yes. role in 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 my life, yeah, shaping yeah. me for the the person I am. I am today, and, yeah. and, and all honor and glory to God for the, for men like that. Uh, those were men of honor. They, there we go. Definitely, De definitely, men of honor. definitely. Yeah. And today we give double honor to them yes, uh, exactly. in the in the post yeah. posthumous yes. state. We give double honor to them because yeah. um, it is it is those people that that shaped us. Yes. I, um, I I personally can can um, confer with you yeah. only the two that you've mentioned yes. now. Uh, your dad and 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 Pastor Donald Bester. Yes. Uh, your dad. It's yeah. because of your dad yeah. that that I went to college yeah. because he didn't know me. I walked into the church um, at that time. Um, um, he was standing and and this was him. 
he, he, he was early there mm. and he stood at the door, greeted you. Mm. He greeted you. Yes. You know, in so doing, in, in hindsight, I, 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 I saw the, the, his method. Because standing at the door, he knows exactly who is in church and who's not. Yes. You know? Yes. He, he doesn't look from the pulpit as to uh, who is in church because there he needs to focus on, on, yes. on delivering the message of yeah. God, etc., etc. But standing at the door, greeting the people, he knows exactly yes. who is in church yeah. and who is not. Yes. I come into the church, greet him. When he looked into my eyes, he says, I want to see you after church. Sure. Yeah. Just, just like that. Yeah. After church, I went to him. I said, yes, pastor, you, you said I must, I must see you after church. Yeah. He, says, he, he said to me, you must go and equip yourself for ministry. Sure. He don't know what, mm. where I come from. But that's, that's all the words that he said to me. Mm. That was 1984. 1985 I found myself at Bible school. That that yeah. was that was sure. done. Um Donald Bester was was another person that that you could his is what he instilled in you. People were scared of him. <laughs> he, yes, people were scared but what yeah. he instilled yes. in you. I mean we as young people yeah. after youth we would go to the to 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 uh, uh, to the house um to the parish and um um we would be there with these children yes. we would go with them yeah. new year's day yes. 5 o'clock yeah. uh after the service we don't go home after the service midnight service new new year service we go to his house mm. and then it's 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 talking and laughing and so on and then half past 4 the vehicles all the vehicles start up and then we go to Bochis Drift. Mm. That that yeah. was that was all all the time. Awesome. But in in my in 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 my instance a, a, a man that I can that I can highlight is um um Pastor Base, Johannes Base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, and he was instrumental in my life. Yeah. I mean I sang in his youth choir. Yeah. Um um he formed me. He he spoke into yeah. my life etc. And 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 there were many others. Yes. Uh, along the way yeah. I can I can speak about uh 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 George Low. Yes. Who who in in Johannesburg. Yeah. Uh who saw me 1985 June when yeah. when the Bible school students had a tour we we had a camp at kayara yeah and 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 the bible students had a, had a tour and we went to yeah. um we went to eldos yes uh, eldorado park with the late pastor jacobs mm. as 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 the LB. Pa- LB jacobs as the pastor there yeah. he, george low and omi low yeah were in that service yeah they saw me mm. And and Naomi Low said to George, George, there's our son. Yeah. They send their children September to Sarepta to the conference. Yeah. To come and find me. Yeah. And when they when they, when they found me, they took me to the to the ticket box, mm. the telephone booth. Yes. There was no cell phones. Yeah. To put in money. Yeah. Dial up. Phone home. Yeah. Mom, we found him. He's here. Yeah. What they said to me changed my life completely. Yes. For 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 my college years. Mhm. They said when college closes. Yeah. You get on a train. You come home. You come to Joburg. Yeah. And that Christmas Eve I was in Mossel Bay with them on holiday. And it was there that they, God had instructed them to pay my tuition fees yeah. for my, the remainder of my college years, but also to give me a job during the school holidays mm. 
to work in their factory yeah. so that I can buy my books. Yeah, awesome. Those, those were people that yes. and and people of faith. Yes. People of faith. It's a it's a faith journey. Yeah. And 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 today I can I can honor them. Yeah. Because they are part of my heritage. Yes. Because th- those are the things that they instilled inside of me. I think of my I think of my dad and we spoke about school of hard knocks and I look at my training under him uh, to go into ministry and he will always um, teach me stuff and I and I can recall one Sunday morning yes it was quite interesting one Sunday morning he asked me to go to church with him early yeah I don't know why what we stayed on the premises and then we stood by the gate because he wanted to teach me something how oh, well you must know your flock yeah yeah we stood there. The church started eight thirty. We was we were there, but uh, about seven thirty, because people walk from all over the place. I'm there we go. State, yes, 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 yes. And bishop Lavers. Yeah. And then we stood there. He will look at his watch and he will say, "A certain time, where the Bosman family will come around the corner." Sure. With that maroon valiant. Yes, yes, you yes. Clockslag. They will come around the corner. There we go. Because you know his flock. Yeah. Then we wait. He said, "Hang on, you will see Sister Henderson with the three daughters." Yes, will come around that corner now. Yeah, and as I say, now you wait a few seconds, and you will see they will they, come. They, they wait. You see, every family he knows the exact time that they come. They will arrive at church, greeted them. But then what he does? He went to the late Buddha Hendricks. Yeah, who yeah. Was back then, the church administrator. He had a small A5 hardcover book. Yes. Now in there. The names is there of the people that's not in church. Yeah. Then he will do his house calls, not in the week. After church. Right after church. So lunchtime in the pastorie was never one o'clock. Yeah. It was around about two, three o'clock. There we go. Because we and go. that's so quick. There's no time for a nap because five o'clock is evening church. And they, God help you. Yeah. If you're not, you're not the evening, there. In the if evening. you're not there. This is the stuff that was that that I believe that was instilled in me. Yes. Understand? Yes. And I, I love it when 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 a leader and a pastor is is, is hands on the matric land, the matric roster, was up against his wall. Yes. And he will phone each student, pray for him over the phone. The subject is writing the next day. Yes. Yes. That is how hands on that man was. And, yeah. And I thank God for that. that yes. That that, that that it's important. <laughs> Yeah, that shepherd role was 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 was, and and today I transpose it as well as as yeah uh, as my role as a shepherd to the uh, to God's flock. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So yes, th- those are things that we yes. that we that we need to 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 acknowledge today yeah. that that formed part of our that forming Ready part of our heritage. Ready yes. Ready. So um, we need to do that. Yeah. We need to do that. And uh, I just want to welcome Valerie van der Ross. Long time no see. Letitia is also watching. Um, good morning, Radio East River family. Yes, uh, we have our people watching on on Facebook, and uh, we are so glad that you are tuning in. Um, I still have my guest with me, Pastor. Graham Collins, and uh, we asking the question: How alive is your spiritual heritage? And we want to say we need to make and keep our spiritual spiritual heritage alive. Absolutely. And uh, I can I can uh, just just as we uh, before we go on to this mu- to the mu- next music break, I want to reminisce a story about my my late grandfather. Yeah. Um, he, as I said, he was the pastor of of the Church of God um, for many years, um, uh, nearly four decades. He was the pastor there, uh, and uh, uh, in the early years. The following thing he had on the pulpit, it was it was a book, gold in color. All right. But in the book, there was a certain uh, 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 portion where it was about rules on going to church. Mm-hmm. He believed th- in those rules. Mm-hmm. Be- and and in later years, I mean, as as a young boy, or or, or or even in your youthful, you start to recite 
those yeah. rules. You start to know those rules. When he, when he speaks it from the pulpit, he reads it from the pulpit, uh, just to remind people yeah. on a Sunday morning. Um, it is something that you, you start reciting with him. Mm-hmm. In later life, when you, when you reflect back, yeah. because at the time, like you, you didn't understand Why must you stand at the gate? Yeah. Why must I go early to church? The church yeah. starts at half past eight. Yes. I stay a minute away from, yes. not even a minute. Th- yeah. It takes me t- 30 seconds to, to be in, around. to yeah. be in church. Yeah. Because that was, that is where, uh, 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 the parish was. Yeah. But in later life, when you, when you reflect on those things, yeah. those teachings, huh, that, that, It resonates now with you yeah. and gives you a foundation to take yes. it even further. Yeah. Now, these rules started off like this. It's rules on going to church. Yeah. Go early to church. Mm-hmm. Don't be in your place. Be in your place before the hour announced yeah. for the service to begin. Absolutely. The second one is earnest a silent prayer mm-hmm. on your behalf. Yeah. Not only for you, but also for those who enter the sanctuary. Yes, absolutely. You yeah. know, yeah. so those things were instilled. It was, it was in the week that I saw a, me, a reel mm. on Facebook. How we treat church and our work. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know if you saw it. And there it says, we don't want to be early, I mean late for work. But, late but so easily late we can be late for church. Yes. When I saw that, mm-hmm. I listened to that. Where did my mind go? Yeah, back then. Back then, rules on going to church. Yes. Be, go early to church. Yes. Be in your place before the hour announced for the service to begin. Yes. Because when the service starts, you are not a disturbance when you come in. <laughs> you know? And, uh, and I can relate that one day, still in the old building, my grandfather would say, uh, and, and that guy, the guy that was the, the, the caretaker at the mm. time was also... Brother Collins. Yeah. He stayed uh, yeah, yeah. opposite Uricon yeah. uh, uh, school. He says, close the door, we're going to pray. Mm-hmm. Everyone that's late stands outside. Yeah. And then when, when, when we say amen, he yeah. does not open the door immediately. He waited for my grandfather to open the book on yes. rules on going to church. Yes. So when those people come in, What do they hear? Yeah. Rules on going to church. Yeah. Go early to church. Yeah. And he would stress it up. <laughs> Now, speaking on early to church, I, I recall, you know, the evening church started at five o'clock back in the day. I don't know if you ever played cricket in your church clubs. <laughs> But we played cricket in our church clubs. Yes. You put the tie in your pocket here. Yeah, yeah. In here. And we played on the tennis court of, of Clark Estate Prim, uh, a primary school back then. I think it was the Moravian field there. Yes. In Clark Estate. We yeah. played cricket there. But then, uh, and our, our jackets will hang over the fence. Yeah, yeah. Before we go to church. We, uh, from two o'clock or, or three o'clock onwards. Yes. Talk, we played, we played, we played, and we, and we lost track of time. Myself, Sean Martin, the late Ember Bud Boy, Uh, Wayne Tienus, yes, Martin, yes, 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 and so I can name them, you know. And we realize, and we shout, and someone shout, it's five to five, and we late, and we st- and, and, and it's summer. We grab and we ran, we ran, we ran. We got to church about ten past five, and they will start singing, and we walk in there. My dad, you know, yes, he, yes, he saw he, us, he, you know, he was people like this. Yeah, he called us to the front. He said, "He's by a plague, you fool." <laughs> Sit in front. Yeah. And then on that note, he will still call us to the front. Yeah. <laughs> that was, that was, but, but you know what? That, 
That shaped us. Yes, yes. Even though we run against time, we still know that we need to be in church. Yes. Yeah. Def- definitely, yeah. definitely. Yes, you, you, you still had a chance to play cricket yeah. before evening service. <laughs> I did not have a chance to yeah. play cricket because after service, the service normally ends by one, half past one. Then you go to go home. It's lunchtime. It's lunchtime. Then you then you lunch. Yeah. Then Open you air. you don't get address. <laughs> uh-uh. No, no, no. You just do your chores in your in after lunch. Yeah. Then you take your jacket back to 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 Ninth and Tenth Avenue where yeah. you meet up with the evangelist yes. and 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 the evangelistic team. Yes. Then you go to Eitzig because. Open air starts at three o'clock, yeah. uh, and after the open air service, it's straight from there to to church. Yeah, those are things that shaped us. Yeah, Kurki GC and Christ. Yeah, exactly my point. Uh, uh, those those are the things yeah. that shaped us, yeah, that molded us yes, for the years to come. We Absolutely. did not understand it yes. then, yeah. but. Now, 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 thoroughly, thoroughly, yeah. we understand that, and those are the values yeah, that we sure. that that we miss in our in our communities today yeah. and in our households. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, welcome to Desiree Damas. She is also watching, and we are still here. We are having a very good conversation, yes, indeed. A- and and we are saying today. Our heritage is very much alive, alive and well. Mm-hmm. And we're asking you the question, how alive is your spiritual heritage? Yeah. And, and if it's not alive, we want to urge you yeah. to go and search, to wow. go, into, in, go back in time. And go and fetch those things, those fundamentals, those foundational truths and principles that was instilled in you as a child. And bring it back to where you are so that you can have a solid foundation under your feet. We will go on to a music break, Graham. Awesome. And uh, uh, it's one of the old hymns again. We, the, the choral singers... Uh, will sing to us. I stand amazed in, in the presence, presence of Jesus, of Jesus the, the Nazarene. The Nazarene. Amen. And so we we have in church yeah. today. We yeah. we it's it's the old time religion yeah. today. As, as our music is, we we take it from yesteryear and we reminisce on it. And and let us let us enjoy the value of these songs. Amen. Get ready, Cape Town. Let the games begin. There's more to life introduces your master race. Get your squad ready to win your share of 5,000 rand. Race through the streets in an adrenaline pumping, clue finding adventure and climb the leaderboard. First 10 teams to enter get a share of 200 points. Score another 200 points as the audience votes for the best dress squad on the 28th of July at the Athlone Civic Center. Don't, Don't miss, miss out. out. Enter now via www.tmtl.co.za.
tune in to the leading internet radio station in the mother city, Radio Easter River. For more information, log on to our website, which is www.radioesterriver.co.za. We are back live with you, uh, and uh, that song was I Stand Amazed in the Presence of Jesus of Nazarene. Mm. And, and the choral singers that, that sang it through us, it, it just reminded us yeah. of the sound, the sound that we heard in our congregations when yeah. there were no electrical instruments yeah. but just acoustic guitars mm. banjos there was a piano accordion mm. um, some people some uh, congregations were lucky enough to have saxophones mm. and trumpets and so on yeah. but those are the things that 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 sound mm. just just resonated yes uh, with us yeah. now uh, the teachings and 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 values of your spiritual heritage how how does it resonate with you in your in your life experience today, yeah. Graham? Doc, thanks, uh, thanks for this question. I I will answer as follows. I we spoke about the many nice things that happened and the values that that were instilled in you as a as a young kid or you know siblings. Yes, and, yes, and so on. However, um, it wasn't always. Uh, sunshine and roses. Yes, yes. There were difficult times. I mean, yeah. growing up in a pastory was never easy. Yes, they call us PKs, pastors' yeah. kids. There we go. It's never easy. There were there were challenging times, difficult times. But I need to answer. There was one thing we were told is to forgive. Yes, yes. Um, and forgiveness um played a crucial role. Being in a pastor's home, you can easily get bitter. Yeah, yeah. Um, because you experience how your parents are treated by by church people. Yes, definitely, definitely. You, get, you can easily get bitter. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sure there were uh, uh, a few of my siblings or even pastors' kids that might be bitter up to today. Yes. But there's one thing my dad instilled in me is to forgive. Hence, me also also deciding to follow his footsteps. Yeah, yeah. Being a pastor, you know. But forgiveness over the years, we are, we learn to release people. Yes, that, yes. That hurt him. Yeah. We ne- we need to forgive them in order for us to be healed. There we go. Yeah. Because bitterness. Yeah. Is a silent killer. De- definitely. And definitely. those were those were the stuff that that were really. Um, Instilled in us humility, yeah, to be humble, yeah, yeah, and gratitude. Yes, we were yes. we were raised to be to be grateful for what you have. Yes, we were a lot of kids. You will eat what is in front, front of, you. of you. Yeah, you will eat what's there. You yeah, understand? you d- you didn't have a choice. If you have that big piece of chicken, that's yours for today. One potato, baked beans, rice, pops your uncle. Yes, and they would start like it when I see Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But those were the things that, that kept us together. Yeah, yeah. And I thank God for grace yes. over the years. I thank God that we could forgive people and move on in order for, for, uh, for God to restore us. Yes, yes. So, so, yeah, that is also one thing I would just love to add. No, yes. great stuff. Yes. Excellent, excellent. The, those those are, are the teachings and the values that, yeah. that, that really... Is uh, I mean, uh, you a pastor's kid? I'm not yeah. a pastor's kid, but my granddad yeah. um, was was the pastor. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, I'm I'm a fourth generation in yeah. in in in, in, yes. in the pastoral lineage. Yeah. Um, but I can I can say that what what it affected me as much as it would have affected his children. Yeah. To see the way my dra- my granddad was treated yeah. by church people and yeah. and and what they said of him, yes. um, and even even after his his passing, people would still say things yeah. about him. Yeah. But there's one thing that that I can remember that people still say mm. up until today, when he was the pastor, 
the church blossomed. Yes. The church grew. Yes. And 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 there was a solid foundation. Yes. Um, 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 so, and and those are the things that 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 people that draw people to yes. him. Yes. He was a, a a very very very, I would call it, I would nearly say scary person. Mm. Because he had a big voice, mm. um, he had big eyes, mm. and he was upright in posture. Yeah, uh, and he was known. He was a no nonsense taker. He yeah. called a spade a spade. Yeah, he was straight down the middle. <laughs> no, 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 no ways, no ways. He didn't do that. Yeah. But yet, when he ministered and served yeah. the people, people were drawn to him. Amen. I mean, yeah. people across the Cape Flats. If you ask them, mm-hmm. especially the older folk, yeah, do you know this guy? Yeah, they would. Or if 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 they meet me, yeah, then they would. The first thing that they ask: Are you related to? Yeah, the late pastor A.G. Then I would say yes, it's my grandfather. Yeah. Then when I speak, they say no, no, but we can, we yeah. can, we can hear. We can, yeah, yeah really what like is what is yeah. what is happening. Graham, what are the, I would say, it rituals mm. or practices uh, from from your spiritual heritage? Uh, do you continue observing? Um, uh, and and the, what do yeah. the, what does it mean to you yeah. to observe those rituals and practices today? Yeah, th- uh, today I still believe that I, I I and I want to use this as an example of of how I was raised. Um, I mean, watching my dad. Watching him was also for me learning. Yes. Yeah. Without him uh, saying a word. Yeah. Just by yeah. watching him, I love how he was hands on with his flock. Yes. Especially communion services. Yes. When the when then he will notice who's not there. Yeah. Um. Then he had a small case, you know that the great one case we had. Yes, 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 the brown one. Yes, that thing was stuck with communion stuff. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It was stuck. And after church, he will go to the people that's not in church. Yes, and he will go serve them communion. Yeah, that is one of the things I'm still doing today in my in our assembly. Yes, yes, I will still go and 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 and, and give communion to people if you weren't in church. There we go. And I people can say what they like. I'm a firm believer in house calls. <laughs> you know, back then they called it his Yes, you know? yes. The only difference now is. You need to call to make an appointment or to ask, are you available? Yeah, yeah. Back in the day, they were rock up at your home. Whether you have a swirl on. Yes, or, 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 or rollers in your hair. He will rock up there yeah. and he will do his house call. Yeah. Today you must, today you need to phone and make an appointment. There's nothing wrong with it. I yeah. Mean, we need to respect people's privacy as well. But I'm just saying, I, I'm a firm believer. I believe that your house call, your shepherd know your voice. Yes. A house call, you keep the flock together. Oh, yes, definitely. The people want to see that there's an interest. Yeah, of course. From the, the shepherd. Yes, yes. Uh, onto the flock. Yeah, they need yeah. To be, they need to be then, then, there need to be that sound interest. Exactly. And that involvement. That is one of the stuff I still, I still continue That that I got from my my dad, my late dad, as a heritage. Yeah, I, yeah. That I still continue. Remember back then there was no WhatsApp, there was no social uh, social media. Media, Today yes. You can pick up the phone, you can pray over the. It's more effective. Yeah, yeah. You can pray over the phone for someone, send encouragement. Send yeah, 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 yeah. So that to me is crucial uh, in a way that how you keep your how you keep your flock together, how you keep them intact, being that, hands that, on with that's them. That's right. That's right. Know, and so on and and and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 interesting that you what you, what you are saying yes. because I I I share the same views yes. of of house visitation. Yes, because my philosophy is yeah. um, today's age is is microwave and remote. Yes, it's yeah. instant. Yeah, you press a button, the TV goes on. Yeah, uh, you change the channels where you want to be. Yeah, you know. Um, you pick up the phone. You can you can do a video call. You can do yes. a a uh, um, make a call uh, on the cell phone, etc., mm. etc. Et But you see the the tangible thing, mm. the practice 
of of being in someone's space yeah is more valuable yeah. than yes they would appreciate the call and 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 the yeah. video call and so on uh because they can put up a fake smile on yes. the video yes. and, and and but when you are there in the in the midst you can pick up what is happening in the house yes. you can pick up what's happening with the person itself mm. you look at the body language you look at the eyes etc yeah. etc when you touch on uh, press a, press the button and and touch a nerve mm. there's tears in the eyes yeah. and so on of course. so 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 then you know where to take the conversation to mm. but as i say remotely mm. is is you can put up a front mm. you are nicely dressed and so on just at the top bottom is anyhow et, etc yeah. uh, and so on um and they put up that fake smile mm. and you feel no this person yeah, is yeah. good of course but the house visitation gives yes. you another dimension yes, yes. of the family that, component that close connection yes. that close yeah. connection yeah. and a uh, people uh, uh, someone once said people don't care how much you know mm. until they know how much you care yes and true. it is in that house visitation that yes. you can speak to the children yes. you can ask them yes. uh, uh how school yes. what grade you are etc etc yeah it's there you with the you have communion yeah. with the family for sure you know and it is there that you you can again bind them and and reconnect with yeah. them um then what we have today where where it's not being done yes, it's more true. uh uh on remote yes the 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 pastor don't know his flock because yeah. the church is so big yeah. they have area uh, yeah. leaders etc yes. etc et and uh, the pastor is way up there yeah. in the sky and the people are here on the ground yeah. and when he needs to minister at at the person's funeral he doesn't know the person yes. if if i can I say that yeah. but those are values and practices i just want to go to the to to the comments here Desiree said good morning doc uh, i'm a bit late but so glad to hear the beautiful hymns how marvelous my mom's hymn mm. uh, it reminds me of the ame church then vanessa lederman mm. uh, 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 sims says good morning doc and graham very interesting topic remember pastor collins and his family from when they were in marmersbury love mm. the music too takes me back a uh, uh, blessed assurance uh, uh, was one of my father's favorite songs mm. he used to sing i also remember him singing okay. and and that nice. is what we want yeah. Uh, yeah. want to hear this morning how it takes you back mm. to your heritage yeah. to that time when these things were were the pillars that yeah. kept us Absolutely. going yeah. uh, and and so on Graham how do you see your spiritual heritage being embraced or interpreted by the younger generation in your family and your community storytelling <laughs> that's all <laughs> storytelling yes what we did this morning yeah it's i think it to keep it alive it's storytelling storytelling i will still when we have a, a moment my me and my family especially me, uh, me and my boys i will just I have a moment and i will tell them stories about my father about my dad yes yes was, yes the way he was hands on yes i think storytelling is yes. is for me a very crucial component that's right to keep this alive that's yeah. the only way yes today's generation will know yeah uh, how we were raised and and storytelling to me and and i mean if 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 we should have i mean two hours for this for you do you is never enough it's never enough because it's we can we can keep the people busy all the time and then i believe in 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 mentorship yes to to keep it alive i need it's important for today's uh today's church leaders always to identify someone to mentor it's always good yes uh, yes i believe in mentorship to take someone under your wing yeah yeah shaping them and mentor the way uh, the way i was the way we were mentored yes i feel that's a very very uh important component for us to keep it uh, to keep it alive and then uh involvement yeah involvement yeah. is 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 very i i honor someone that's actively involved uh, in his members yes I, yes I, I i'm a firm believer in that that's right that you need to be actively involved you know a a phone call here a whatsapp here a hello how's it 
a year That's now right. and then, in pop now and then. Yes, so yes. I, I believe in that involvement uh, to be close to the people. Yes, definitely. If you're close to the people, you can't go, you can't go wrong. Yeah. You see, the yeah. moment you're close to your people, the moment you understand your people, yeah. the moment you know your ways, that is where I feel that, that, that you play a crucial role. Then you... You can't go wrong. The people will love you. They will honor you. They will yes. value you, what you bring to the table, because there's definitely a, there's an involvement mm-hmm. from of, the past. Yes, you, you no longer become high up there. You become involved. Yes, directly involved in, the, the, in their lives and so on. There we go. Yeah. And and that very thing that you speak about, Graham, now yeah. about the involvement in the flock, uh, we 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 brought it down to our families. Yes. Uh, yeah. to our children yeah. as to being involved in their lives yeah. and hands on in their lives mm-hmm. I, I I will tell the story until the day I die yeah. uh, when when I was still a young man with no kids and so on I said yeah. I said to God if you if you bless me with kids yeah. I want to raise them in my shirt's pocket mm-hmm. that's close to my heart mm-hmm. So that when they deviate from what the teachings is that I I taught them, mm-hmm. that I would feel that the heart rhythm is out of sync. Yeah, and I can I I, I can recite many stories. Yeah. I I can I I don't know if I share it, but uh, um, I I can share it again. Mm-hmm. Uh, one 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 uh, evening, I think it was in twenty ten. I uh, I was at the bedside of someone that was that was very ill, and uh, um, I I stayed with with the with the person uh, until I think I got home round mm-hmm. about midnight. Yeah. And as I walked through the door, parked the car in the garage, mm-hmm. came in. As I walked through the door in the passage, some something happened mm-hmm. close to my heart. Yeah. And uh, those those days uh, in 2010, the cell yeah. phone was 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 very much new. Yeah. And and the uh, um, we had the social media yeah. at that time was Mixer. Yes. But Mixer for the for all the wrong reasons because Mixer was open and there you you could do and see anything. Yeah. On Mixer. Yeah. And my son. Uh, 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 had a phone. I gave him a phone with, with one thing. You can SMS, but I don't want mix it on your phone. Mm-hmm. That's the proviso. Yeah. So now I'm I'm walking down the passage. Didn't go to my room. I went straight to his room mm-hmm. because when I walked in the house, something happened. Mm. My heart rhythm was there was yeah. there was something amiss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Graham, I went to his room and there he was sleeping. Mm. I opened the blanket and there the phone was. <laughs> it was still on. Mm. And when I sat on his bed and I looked through the phone and there was Mix It, he mm. was on Mix It. Mm. I, I, I went out of Mix It, but then I went in to Mix It again yeah. and left the phone where it was, it was and went yeah. to sleep. Yeah. The next day, I asked him, Where's your phone? He says, no, in the room, Daddy. Um, and uh, I, 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 I said, bring your phone. I want to see. And then I took his phone. And then, because I now know mm. how to go to mix it, I went to mix it mm. and to his messages. And I asked him, what is this? Mm. Didn't I say, no, mix it? Mm. He had to delete, mm. mix it. <laughs> But for, for, for some people, would it, it, it would sound as if we were very harsh yeah. with our kids. Yeah. But those were the things that kept them alive. Yeah. Those were the things that kept them from danger. Mm. Those were the things that, that kept them upright. Mm. Because it was instilled in us. Yes. And now we carry it over mm. to them. So... What we need to understand is that the, the, the values and the principles, as you rightfully said, and our heritage, mm. our spiritual heritage, that needs to be conveyed yeah. to our children Absolutely. and to our children's yes. children. Yes. Because we lose 
the value yeah. of our heritage. Yes. We lose that. Yeah. And I mean today's kids don't know mm. half of the things. Yes. that we know. Yeah. and where we come from. Yes. And so it is important and yeah, yeah I want to speak to everyone that's watching mm. us on TikTok and Facebook that we need to sit down mm. with our children and tell them when Joshua took the people through Jordan mm. he told the 12 tribes that one person from each tribe needs to pick up a stone yeah from the jordan river mm-hmm. yeah and when they got to the other side they were placed in the middle mm. they were placed on as as an altar yes. on the bank of the jordan river yeah. on the other side as a memorial mm. and Yeah, it yes the thing that God said if to Joshua tell the people that whatever whenever your children should ask what does this mean mm. they must tell the people the story of how God took yes. them from slavery yes and brought them into the promised land tell the story yes tell them the story mm. there are many instances in 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 exodus in deuteronomy yeah right through the bible it is written tell them yeah when paul write to the romans he says how will people know yeah if no one tell them, tell them. yes so we need to tell mm. the story as to how we got here spiritually. Yeah. We will go now on to a music break and the choral voices will once again sing to us and uh, enjoy this hymn with us this morning. Jesus, one of my great late granddad's favorite hymns. Jesus is all the world to me. I just want to say this. My life, my joy, my all. <laughs> He had a stroke. Yes. He had a stroke. He couldn't speak. Yes. But this him yes he could sing word for word yeah even in that state that he was in he would sit there and he would sing jesus is all the world to him uh, to me and let it be to you and your household and your family as you tell and reminisce about your spiritual heritage let's take a listen want to take your business to the next level advertise with radio easterover by emailing us at admin at radioeasterover.co.za
want to take your business to the next level? Advertise with Radio Easter River by emailing us at admin at radioeasterriver.co.za. Yes, Jesus is all the world to me, my life, my joy, my all. Mm. And if we if we go back to the to the history of 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 that song, that song was composed in 1904. Sure. And uh, yes, we are here in <laughs> in 2024, and uh, and it still. It still speaks of a deep relationship Absolutely. with God. Yeah. And uh, that is why these songs have so much value. It's so much value because it is deeply rooted uh, and centered in God. Um, Graham, can you uh, perhaps share with us uh, if there is any sp- specific traditions and teachings from your family that you have uh, that have influenced your 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 spiritual journey, and also, can you perhaps uh, do you have a recent experience where you felt a deep connection? Yes. With with your with your spiritual heritage. Can I can I first start by answer the latter part of your question? Yes. Um, um, a late experience that I had, and this experience sits with me. Um, and when I speak about this, I, I get very touched and, and moved and emotional by this. I think it was about three Sundays ago uh, in our church. I was sitting in front, and there was a guy sitting next to me in a wheelchair, an uh, yeah. older guy. And the worship team were doing the song. Um, um, I, I, I just need to get to the song quickly. Let it breathe on me. Yes, you know, that's yes. That's also an old song. Yes, yes. Just that part, let it breathe on me. Yeah, you know? yeah. Let it breathe on me, the, that song. And this older man was, he, he keep on singing. Yes, keep yes, on singing. yes. The worship team by then landed the song already. Uh-huh. But he was just going he, he, on. He, he, was, he was continuing. He continued, he, he continued singing. And I, I put my hand behind his head. Remember, I was... After this, I'm, I will show you the picture of that. And I put my hand behind his head while he was singing. Uh-huh. And the congregation went quiet. And he was singing alone. Yes, you know, yes. Let it breathe on me. Yeah, yeah. And I joined him, you know. And I joined him and the, and the church were joining me uh-huh. in singing this. And then I got, so emo- I got so touched by this. Yeah, yeah. And then I drove home. Your dog, I was sitting there and I was... And I started to cry for one reason. I say to myself, Graham, you're at your age, man. You're still a, a child. Yes. You still need a dad. You yeah, know? yeah. You still need a fatherly figure in your life. Yes, you know? yes. Driving home, realizing, and say to myself, well, wouldn't it be nice just to pop in by your dad quickly for a quick cuppa? Yes, you know? Just yeah. popping in by him. And I realized... Uh, the absence, the void of a father. Yeah, yeah. In your life, still to yes, that, you, yes. You know, and then I, 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 to come back to the first part of your of your question. And I have values in my life that my dad installed that I still that I still live by. I got mottos where he we had this ways where he on a Friday evening or Wednesday evening, starting after youth. He will start his sermon prayer for Sunday, mm-hmm. you know, and then he will call me into the study. He had an old couch there, and I will sit there. How he how he's busy preparing his sermon with his, with two pens, a blue one and a red one. A red one, yeah. With a Croxley book. Yes, yes, know, yes. With a with a nineteen thirty three uh, Bible. A, a Bible. There's no side comments. There's no Google. Yes. It was quick. It was inspired by the Holy Spirit. There we go. Anointed. Yes. Preaching. Yes. That's all he had, you understand. Yeah. That is the, 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 the I call it tradition that I still have in my life. In, even up to today, I will start my sermon preparation way before the time. Yes. Fortunate we have, we have certain stuff where we can do research. They yes, yes, yes. They didn't have that. They didn't have it, yes. But the thing is, on a Sunday morning, 
when they walk up the pulpit, yeah, you could feel a rest sense. assured. This man, yeah, he was at the feet of, of God. Jesus. Yes, and yes, he, did, he didn't fall asleep. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he was wide awake in some sleeping. So, so this is the thing that I even up to today, you know, when I speak about my father, I, I mean, we don't mention a lot, a lot my mom, uh-huh. but I have a story that. That sits with me. Um, my mom's favorite song was "Through It All." Yes, he was with, with me through it all. That song vibrated in the house when my mom sang it. Yeah, yeah. And when she sang that, we know there is now nothing. Yeah, yeah. We know that we're going through something. Yes, yes. But when she sang "Through It All," he was with me through it all. Yeah. I learn to trust in Jesus. Yes. I learn to trust in God. That is the thing that I learned from my uh, my parents that we love by faith. We had that tradition today. I transpose that onto myself, my family, my kids. We learn to we learn to trust God for everything. We learn to we learn to install our faith into them. Yes. We learn to know when there is when 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 things get a bit heated. When you get a bit hot under the collar, yes, yes, you learn that your that's where your faith comes in. That that's right, yes. And when your faith comes in, God steps in. Yeah, yeah. And when God steps in, it's a complete different picture, different definitely, scenario, definitely. And you feel different about life. You feel different about your circumstances. Yes. And you feel different about your situation. Yes. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. If I can uh, uh, reminisce. Even on myself, mm-hmm. um, just like just like what you were saying, uh, and and it 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 came back to me um, that with my dad, mm. my dad is is still alive. Yeah. Is uh, in 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 three months' time, he will be ninety four. My goodness, he's still driving his own car. Sure, he's still reading without glasses. Sure, um, grace, but. A faith like I have never seen. Mm. First instance, and and this is what I I, I always I always say to him um, th- when when he tells me if I looked if I look a little bit tired, then then he would say you you must rest. Mm. Then I looked at him and I say, if I look at you and you still going on, how can I rest? Mm. So, but a faith like like nothing. We we, we stayed in number twenty on on number twenty one. The plot number twenty three was vacant, mm-hmm. and he said to my mom, "If I can just get this plot, the plot belonged to someone else." Yeah, and every morning he would stand there and he would look at this plot. And he would say, "If I can just get this plot." Mm-hmm. And one Saturday morning, he would he, he went out on the stoop, uh, and he would look at this plot, and here the person from the plot came. Mm-hmm. Now, my my dad had another plot closer to Tigerberg Hospital, and he walked up to the guy and said, "Don't you want to to exchange? Yo, I know your wife is a nurse." Mm. Why can't you? Why why don't you build a house closer to 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 the hospital? He that guy came to clean mm-hmm. the plot. He left everything just like that and said, "Go and show me." Today, my my dad have that plot. Mm. So he was busy. He he got the plot, everything. He built the servants' quarters, built a house, and uh, 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 the. Back part of the house he built. Yeah, he went to church the Sunday morning, and in church, he heard an audible voice telling him, "When you get home now, go build." Mm-hmm. Someone would say, "But it's Sunday." But the voice of God told him to act, mm. and he told my mom, sitting next to me. Says the voice tells me I need to go build now. Mm. When I get home, he mixed a half a bag of cement, put some bricks on the scaffold, 
got onto the scaffold mm-hmm. and start building faith come by hearing mm-hmm. hearing by the word of god hearing by the word of god but faith without actions mm-hmm. and this is what what we know yeah these are the 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 things that that was that was instilled within us yeah. faith without action is futile it's yeah. nothing yeah the neighbor opposite neighbor saw my dad building mm-hmm. he came over he, he said to him uncle peter don't you want don't you need bricks to finish the house mm-hmm. he says yes i i i need i need bricks He says I know where you can find. My dad lunch finished. They left together. They went to the place. Mm. They got there, spoke to the woman. All the bricks for the house to complete it. My dad got for 3000 rand. Mm. So sure. That is what I call mm. faith. Faith yes. and our spiritual journey is mm. is being soaked in faith, in faith and grace yes i want to let's on the doc in t- uh, when we speak about faith are we still okay with time uh you you when, can you can when we speak about faith i can recall i and and and, and, and i'm going back to ave mamsbury again um my dad served that assembly from 1976 up to 1980 He served at the same year for five years. It wasn't easy all the way. Yeah, uh, those five years. I think that was the that was the grinding stone of him being a pastor and yes, 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 and preparing. I think also me for ministry because I, I've learned a lot of lessons from him in 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 in, 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 that, in that five years. Yes, I saw someone say something. Not all the storms are there to disrupt your life. Some, yes, some are there to to shape you. Yes. So then I recall one story one even there was absolutely nothing no food in the house. Yeah. And again faith my 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 dad instruct my mom to lay the table. She had to inst- she instruct him. My mom listen. She was very she, submissive. She, yeah, she 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 act. She yes because the the the, the man of the house the priest spoke. Yes, the prophet. Yes, she laid the table. put out the plates we were lo- we were a lot of kids yes put out the plates put the knife on the fork there and while he's doing that my dad is connecting here yes he's praying he's saying to god you must now deliver my my wife is nearly done with the table yes yes Because you you need to provide if you don't deliver we're going to look bad yes <laughs> Jehov- jehovah jireh needs to, needs needs to come through now when she was done i think he played for time he said but something is missing there She asked what? Is I don't see the de- dessert spoons. Yes. She said, she said dessert spoons. She said, she said yes. She took out dessert spoons. Why did he do that? He is Yeah, he's connected. talking. He said you need to speed up here. I'm running against <laughs> time. And if you don't deliver we will look bad. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know. So what happened? It was that we now we go sit. Now we play. What are those things that 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 I loved? Back then, you will sit around the table. Around the table. There yes. was no cell phones. Yeah, there was nothing. No one eat like this. Yes. So no TVs. We will hold hands, and my dad prayed a simple prayer. You know that evening, a food prayer. Yeah, yeah. See us, Father. See us, Eater. Let us number you forget. Yeah. Bob, your uncle. Yes. That's all he said. We said, Amen. There was a knock at the door, brother. Trust me. There was a knock at the door. He told me the story on his dying bed in 1989 when he was cancer. Sure. In Kluski Hospital, he, he shared the story in the middle of the night. Yes. There was, I think, I think it's the late Auntie Frida. I don't know if her daughter is still alive, Naomi. I uh. don't think if she's also going to be with the Lord. She was standing there with a pot and behind her was a daughter. In the pot was cabbage food. Yeah. That's why up to today I don't eat cabbage food. <laughs> And at the back was a daughter with with dessert, jelly and custard. Yeah, and then put on the table and we had a meal. 
Sure. That's that's faith on the spur on the spur of the moment when the clock ran out. Bang! God delivers. God delivers. And I am a firm believer of that today. Yes. Yes. God might seem late, guys. Yeah. You think for a yes. moment, God, and I want to say to someone this this very moment: You think God is late, but He's always on time. Ask our friend Lazarus. Yes. You think He's late, but the moment you think you're down, God is up to something. Absolutely, absolutely. And on that note of God's provision, we need to end this program. I just want to say to Desiree, wow, Pastor Graham, you bring tears into my eyes. I was just thinking how times have changed. Previously, we we said that every child is a child of the community, but now every parent is is our parent. Yeah. We need. We need to treasure and look after our seniors. Absolutely, yes. absolutely. True. And this program was just to give you a taste and to to rekindle, to to bring alive your spiritual heritage and 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 even your own heritage as a person. And I want to say to you, may God bless your family. May God bless your lineage. May God bless you as you continue to tell the story of your personal heritage, but also the God story yes. of your heritage. Amen. And may God bless you until until next time on the couch with Doc. We say thank you uh, to my thank friend, you, Pastor Graham Collins, uh, for inspiring us. And we're going to end this program on a big note uh, on uh, with one of our spiritual anthems. How great thou art. Hillsong Unite will sing it to us. As we say goodbye and God bless Shalom. until next Amen. time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Moluene yeah. Makaya, Singur Radio is River, Sifumanega Kuso Zong social media platforms. Oh my God. When I in awesome wonder. Consider all the words thy hand had made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power Sings my Radio Yesterova. Radio Yesterova. Radio Yesterova.